Hello fellas, uh, in this video I'm going to install and configure SFTP server on our computer. As the SFTP server, as the file transfer server, we're going to use the Gscape MFT server, Managed File Transfer Server. And as the file transfer client, we're going to use the platform called AnyClient. Both of them are available in Gscape website, simply you can Google or, or you can directly go to website and download them. I will put the links in the description as well. Uh, here I have already downloaded uh, them. Here it is. I have already installed the file transfer client and now I'm going to install the file transfer server. Just double click. Yes, and next. Accept the agreement. Next. Just uh, where you want to install the directory. Here we leave as default. Okay, uh, here you can use the embedded database, your local computer, or if you have any external database, MySQL or Oracle or any kind of database, if you have, you can just simply connect from here. But here we use the embedded database, click next. Okay, here uh, no need to change anything. Uh, for now, this IP address 0.0.0, .0, .0 means that uh, it is listening to all the network interfaces on this computer. So just leave as default and just give a username and password. The username, let's say, give Mark. He's, for example, the admin. Mark and Mark. The memory size. Let's leave as default, that's okay, and finish. Okay, now we're re uh, redirected to the login page. 127.0.0, this is just the local host and my local IP address, and this is a port number. The username was Mark and more uh, here we just logged in and the things we need is firstly we need to add a domain just click on the domain and here you can add a domain add give a name sftp server can give some description if needed. Click next. And here you are specifying which file transfer protocol you are using. So we are going to use the SFTP. Uh, remember that the MFT server is supporting all of these uh, file transfer protocols. And here it is the host, the default host, no matter IP version 40.0.0.0. Here is the port number for TCP and UDP and the SSH connection. For the authentication, you can use the password or you can use the key first, private and public key. Uh, simply here, just leave as password. But in the real world implementation, you're use, it is recommended to use password and public key, both of them, as two-factor authentication. Click next. And here we do need to change anything. Just daily, that's fine. Click OK. OK. We just created the domain and what else we need is just we need to create the user in order to access, in order to transfer the file. Just edit. And just scroll down and go to users. Here it is. And add a new user. The template default, okay. Give a username, for example, let's say admin, admin, the password admin, and admin. That is fine, okay. Now our SFTP server is configured, and now we can uh, run our file transfer client and just connect the file transfer client to this server. Any client. Okay, open any client, connect and sync, just let's connect and uh, let's create a new site, 
let's say uh, okay host is just local host The protocol which we are using is SFTP SSH. The username was admin, the password was admin. Okay, and connect. Okay, now here just verify the fingerprint and connecting to this is our local host. Accept and save, that's fine. Now it is connected. Now you can transfer any file you want. Let me go for example to let's say a specification and just file transfer complete it's all for today thank you very much in the upcoming videos uh, we are going to explain more in details about the file transfer protocols and don't forget to subscribe for more videos about business intelligence internet of things cloud computing and about the networking and stuff um okay and have a good day bye bye